Moondoggy. Oh, yeah. So, I played a couple of friendlies against Moondog and Nintendork, and I know they play Ivy Ca and Captain Falcon, so Ivysaur is definitely a character you don't see very often in PM. Right. Uh, um, curious to see if... Ivysaur is definitely a good teammate to have. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Anytime you can get into a 2v1 situation, Ivysaur can sit back and just regain health. Yeah, that's... It's such a good ability to have, and also he can charge that solar beam, of course, and then there are a lot of setups, like... Um, a lot of kill moves that Ivysaur has if you have a teammate that can set you up for that. Even just like up you will kill. Sure. And He's also able to wall off opponents with just big, big leafy hitboxes, you know? Like right. So Ivysaur plays like the zoning game and then Captain Falcon, normally Moondoggy plays Captain yeah. Falcon. He'll go in and just play really ham, play a fast character. So, okay, it goes Fox. Pretty much the same thing though. Can right. Really fast. Um, safe approaches if he uses them well. I think um, Ivysaur is going to have a hard time with Snake lying, uh, putting some traps around though, because it... Yeah, and we're also on a very small stage, so Smashville... Right now, Blue Poppy. team trying to get a little bit of stage cover. Put the headphones on. Yeah. So yeah, like you said, Snake's going to want to put traps down, and honestly, if the Blue team can stop that from happening, uh, his setups aren't going to be that great. Mm. So I could say that like, perhaps Rolex has some trouble, but Fantastic Forward Air will pick up the first kill. We see Nintendo are going in, getting some damage. Snake's at a really, really high percent now, so a lot of options. Fox too, honestly. Like, an up smash would probably kill either one. An off, an off stage Snake playing against the uh, Ivy Star is going to be really tough. For the... Pretty tough. Snake. snake. Yeah, yeah snake. right, right. Yeah, but so far, Red Team doing very, very well. Pick up the first two kills. Both at high percentage, but they're going to try and rack on as much damage as possible. And between the lasers and the projectiles that you have as Snake, that is totally possible. Oh, yeah. Like, you just saw Moondoggy tried to pick up the uh, grenade, and then it blew up on him, so... Especially if you're inexperienced well, with dealing with snake projectiles, it's very hard to deal with. Right, and on, on the other side of the coin, you got um, Yuji King and Rolex have teamed together so many times. They, yeah. they both know. Absolutely. Uh, like what's going on with snake's traps and whatnot. Right. Ooh, Nintendo are trying to kill with up air. It actually will meteor smash you down. I, or I think it's a meteor. Um, if he hits you with the belly of his up air. But more stocks taken by Red Team. They have such a commanding lead right now. Another grenade. Rolex is doing a really good job this game of not really getting hit. He is in shield, and then he would just wait for a chance. Oh, okay, does that's Com finally. Yeah, commentator's curse. Oh fine, man. But um, but still, blue team pretty far ahead. Oh, excuse me, red team. I kind of would like to see blue team, if it's possible at all, to work together to kill Fox. Like they're sort of. I mean, with double matches, you'll usually have like sort of individual one on ones and stuff. But if Rolex, if they let Rolex do their thing and simply ignore them or ignore him, they might be able to combo Fox and get a kill. Um, but I mean, it's very, very hard. And obviously, Rolex and Mewtwo, like two of the best PM players in the world. Of course. So, one thing, uh, one thing they can do if they, if they do what you said and ignore the if they ignore the snake. Yeah. They can, um, you know, he's gonna put down his traps because he's like, oh, I got some time to put down some traps. Yeah. Let him do it and then use use his traps. You know, knock the fox into the traps. Yeah, exactly. Like if you. I mean, it, it's easier said than done for sure, oh, of but course, if you got, like, you know, you can have Rolex on the defense at that right, point. Right, exactly. Um, yes, Music King, I'm sure, has played with Rolex a lot, so he knows how it works, but if you just throw him into the traps, like, there's not much he can do, but Fox goes down, and Nintendo versus the world, he will go down as well, so pretty short match, less than three minutes. Yeah, it definitely looked like Moondoggy was having a hard time of, uh, he just walk into mines and explosives. It doesn't look like he has a, a yeah. snake experience required. It's tough. It's really tough. If you haven't played against Snake, really tough. Yeah. I played against, like, first really legitimate Snake experience yesterday at the University of Maryland tournament, and it, it's frustrating, man, especially on a stage like Battlefield or whatever, where they can have so many platforms to mess around with. <laughs> Rolex seems a little, a little wave. <laughs> no. Oh, look at that fantastic facial hair by Music King. Mm. It's, it's trimmed nicely. Beautiful. beautiful. Yeah, it's really. fantastic. <laughs> also, it did his hair a little bit. Looks good. This guy recently got a haircut. Yeah. Fresh to King. <laughs> you too fresh. But, um, all right, if you're... Nintendo Dork and Moondoggy, what do you do now? <sighs> Stage-wise, oh boy, yeah, um, not easy. Okay, so um, I would say maybe a large stage. Personal preferences, I know. Uh, I know Rolex hates Dreamland, hates it. Okay, least favorite so. stage. And he will he will complain about that stage so the day he dies. So well, if, uh, if, you, if you have Rolex uh, as your opponent, that's where you're gonna want to try to go. Oh, well, although he man. might get rid of it, he always right. does. So, but the decision's really not his. <laughs> right. Well, I mean, there's still oh, a there goes. Yeah, yeah. Well, it, it is. It is. Um, right. So there's large stages like Dracula's Castle is available as well as um, Distant Planet. Two right. very, very large stages that 
North Bear is deceptively large too. Oh, People that forget. that's true as well. The Pretty big, huge. When the plat the platforms go higher up at certain points, and it'll make a oh. it'll make laying traps really interesting because uh, they'll be higher, they'll be closer to the ceiling. So. Yep. So we might actually see a good call. Yeah. So they do go to North Bear, and also because the uh, platforms move. Snake's traps might not be as effective. It could also be more when you have a when you have a mine right. moving oh, towards you. It was like, okay, you know, that was close. That could have been bad. Yeah, you almost saw the cap falcon there. Ooh, I missed that jab uh, reset though. That was unfortunate. Good really, teamwork. really good teamwork. Yeah. Fighting one on ones. Music King hasn't even taken a single hit of damage so far. Oh my goodness. Oh. Okay, Music King took took one. He took one. That's fine. But red team is doing such a good job right now of basically fighting 1v1s and winning them. Music King gets the kill onto Ivysaur. Nice back air. Will send Captain Falcon off. Can he make it back? Nope. Oh, Nintendo trying to go for that up air kill once again, but I don't even know if it would have worked with Music King such low damage. Oh, Moondoggy was doing a good job of keeping Rolex away from saving uh, Music King, but yeah. then he kind of missed the Unfortunate. Yeah. I hate to see that kind of thing. Yeah, it looks like right now it's just two Two one v ones and then Nintendo dude and uh, or Nintendo Ork, I should say and Moondoggy. <laughs> two, two, two very different people. Yeah, two very different people. Ooh, no punish on the uh, tranquilizer. Nice forward, everyone. Oh my goodness, this is this is worse than last game. Last game was pretty bad, but right now Red Team putting on a clinic. Music King does go down, and Nintendo Ork has a couple of stocks here, but looks like Moondoggy. Well, what's he gonna do with oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> and just like that, he's down to one. Yep. So I said the last game was fast, two and a half minutes might be even faster if the red team can just mm -hmm. keep doing what they're doing. They're playing so well. Man, Wolix with upping into uh, C4, that's fantastic snake play. Good stuff there from Ivysaur. Great zoning. Oh. I didn't catch that C4, did you? <laughs> like. Oh yeah, he, after the up -E. Oh man, I didn't... I don't know when he planted I know he's hit it with him, but oh, I was yeah. like, whoa, I, Rolex, please. <laughs> I play with Rolex every day. It's like, oh, I got you. <laughs> I, I see it all, and I, I just assume everybody else sees it all, too. Right, exactly. <laughs> so, Captain Falcon out 150. Let's see how much damage he can do, and he's off. So, Mewtwo King and Rolex, probably one of the scariest teams here this, oh, yeah. this tournament, for sure. Absolutely. I mean, Junebug and Pink Fresh are also really good. Um, Gallo and Frozen, I lost to them. But, M2K and Rolex. Putting on a clinic. Oh, definitely. So it looks like it might actually be Junebug and Pink Fresh versus Rolex and MPK. Is that what we got? Perhaps. Uh oh. I'd hope so. Uh -oh. That'd be a fantastic. We'd have a game. But we might see tomorrow. Oh, uh, not now. Yeah, that's a day two kind of game. Yeah, yeah, that really is. <laughs> anyway, looks like we will actually see Junebug and Pink Fresh. So interesting thing about Pink Fresh. Of course. Three point five. He's been playing a lot of different characters. Yeah. Um, see him play Lucas, but he also plays Zero Suit Samus. Uh, he played her against a couple of people in friendlies, and that's a very interesting character. I don't really know much about her. I used so. to, and then they changed her, and yeah, the couldn't do it, man. Changed. Couldn't do it. Right. Had to move on. Yeah, I mean, 3.5. Gotta either, I don't know. <laughs> adapt move on or, and adapt. Right? Adapt or bust. Yeah, exactly. So. Adapt or bust. Um, but it looks like, excuse me, what are these teams? All right. So it looks like we're trying to find out who these other two are. Um, they're still winners, so they must be doing very well because I think this one is round four. Oh, sorry. Okay. But oh, Sora and Spaz actually. Okay. Yes. Based off of the name. Not a bad team. So Spaz is actually tri-state area Squirtle player. Um, so Squirtle's a tough one if you have no experience, but uh, yeah. he's he's mostly gimmicks. So you, if you can uh, if you can avoid getting caught up in the jank. He'd yeah. usually be alright. Yeah, he has a lot of really, really wonky moves and hitboxes that <laughs> if you don't know what they do, you're just like, oh, well, I just died. Pick him. It's over. Uh, Sora, gonna go with Marth, it seems like. So I know Sora and Spaz knocked Zoo and um, the Moon into losers. So... it's pretty impressive. Yeah. So we got a game. Yeah, this is gonna be tough. Very good. Both teams, yep. Okay. Marth and Squirtle versus Lucas and Diddy Kong. I don't know how I feel about Squirtle and Marth as a team in general. I don't know. Yeah, because... I'm not feeling it, Squirtle, personally. Squirtle can, like, run... He's going to move around a lot, and Marth, with those swords, honestly, just might, like... They might interfere with each other, you know? That's what I'm thinking, too. Right. Squirtle needs that room to move, so... Yeah, so, I mean, their synergy needs to be on point. Oh, yeah. They might hit each other. But I can imagine... That